gotta be a good cook. I didn't realize my mother was a good cook to after I moved out of the house. When you're a child, if your mother doesn't take you to McDonald's, you don't think she can cook. And I have one of those mothers, you know, no matter what you want, she has the ingredients at home. You say, Ma, I want to stop and get some McDonald's. She go, I got hamburger meat at home. I want McDonald's hamburgers. I make your hamburger better than McDonald's. Better than McDonald's? That's right. When you get home, you can help Mama make it. You say, shit, that's great. That better than McDonald's. You must say, okay, go get me get the big black frying pan from under the stove. So you hand the big black frying pan, and she said, now, while you're in there, I want you to go get in the refrigerator, get me the chopped meat, and while you're in there, get me a green pepper and an onion. And you said, ain't no green peppers in McDonald's. I'm not making McDonald's, I'm making your mama's burger. I need a green pepper and an onion while you're in there. Give me an egg out, too. What you need eggs for? I want hamburgers. You making egg me muffins. I'm not making an egg McMuffin. I don't even know what no damn egg McMuffin is. Just give me the egg out and just shut your mouth. And she take the egg and the green peppers and chop the green pepper up in big chunks. Don't even dice it. Big chunks of green peppers and onion and mix the egg in and put paprika and all this shit in it and make a big meatball and put it in the middle of this frying pan. And McDonald's, the meat is this thin. Your mother's shit is like this is fatter. Green peppers hanging out of it and shit, and there's a big split in the middle, and grease is popping out, and you're looking at it while it's popping, you're looking at the grease in the pan, you're thinking to yourself, that don't look like no McDonald's. <laughs> you must say, go inside the refrigerator and get me, get, go inside and get me the bread out the bread box. And you go look in the bread box, and you say, Ma, I don't, we don't have no hamburger buns. All we have is Wonder Bread. That's what I said. Get the bread out of the bread box. You gonna put it on square Wonder Bread? God damn it, bread is bread. You better bring me that bread before I slap you in your mouth. Don't tell me some, some, some Wonder Bread. What's that bread cost? And tell me some shit about Wonder Bread. This is Wonder Bread. A hamburger is a hamburger. As you make it and put it in the middle of square Wonder Bread. At McDonald's, they use buns. The meat covers the whole bread. And your mothers, the meat's right in the middle of the bread. With grease running through the middle, making the bread stick to the plate. Now, there's big green peppers hanging out the top of this big meatball on the bread. And you try to put some ketchup on it, and the mix with the grease turn the bread into pink dough. Then you grab it and get fingerprinted, and you got big pink fingerprints in the dough, and you stand there looking at it, and you try to make it look like McDonald's, so you rip the edges off around it, make it round, and you got green peppers and grease running down your hand, and your mother say, now go on outside and play. And the other kids got McDonald's. They outside going, we got McDonald's. McDonald's, McDonald's, I got McDonald's. You stand there with this big house burger. And kids are honest and say, yeah, where you get that big well-fed green pepper burger? And you cry. <laughs> My mother made it. <laughs> and long slob, when little kids cry, some long slob come out their mouth and it hangs this far to the ground. And it won't break. And adults stand around going, is that slob gonna break? And it won't. The wind can blow, that slob is going, ah, ah, ah. You know where you can see kids crying? 
I do it all the time. I'm sadistic. I like to go to the supermarket and watch mothers lose it and beat the shit out of their kids. <laughs>